Hey everyone, here is a fraction decimal of class 7 important question. So I am covering here MCQ type of questions. I have taken around 12 to 13 questions which have covered all the topics or the areas where you can find this type of questions can come. Okay, So this type of questions if you practice, so definitely they can come for the exam. So the first question is, which of the following is not an equivalent fraction of 3 by 5? So 3 by 5 is a number and they have given 4 options. We have to check which one is not an equivalent to this. So the best way is to do the cancellation, bring it to the reduced form. So the first option is 6 by 10. I'm going to cancel this, bring it to the reduced form. So I can cancel this in 2 table. 2 3s are 6, 2 5s are 10. You can see we got here 3 by 5 which is the same as a fraction given in the question. In the second one. 9 by 15. Cancel this in 3 table. 3 3s are 9. 3 5s are 15. So you can see again we got 3 by 5 which is given fraction. The next we have 12 upon 20. We are going to cancel this in uh, 2 table. 2 6s are 12 and 2 10s are 20. 6 and 10 we got. Again we can cancel this in 2 table. 2 3s are 6 and 2 5s are 10. You can see again we got 3 by 5. Now the last option is 15 upon 24 cancel this in 3 table because we cannot cancel this in 2 table. 2 uh, sorry 3 5s are 15 and 3 8s are 24. So here we got 5 by 8 not 3 by 5. We required 3 by 5 but we got 5 by 8. So option D that is 15 upon 24 is not an equivalent fraction of 3 by 5. And then the second question what is 1 third of 9? So 1 by 3 of 9. So this is equal to one third of means you have to do multiplication and nine. Now you have to cancel. So when you're canceling, remember you have to cancel number from numerator and denominator. Okay. So nine is in numerator, three is in denominator, so I can cancel them. I'm gonna cancel this in three table. Three ones are three and three threes are nine. So here we're left with one and three in numerator, multiply one three is a three. So C option C is the correct answer. Then third question what is one fourth of five one by three so previous question it was just a whole number and now we have a mixed fraction we have to find out one fourth of five uh, one by three so one by four of means remember it's multiplication and here we have five one by three now this mixed fraction we have to convert into an improper fraction so i hope you all know how to convert this so multiply 3 and 5 3 5 is at 15 now add with the numerator 15 plus 1 is 16 so 1 by 4 multiplied by 16 by 3 now we're going to cancel them we can cancel 4 and 16 so 4 ones are and 4 fours are 16 so this is equal to we're left with 4 by 3 which is option c and then the next one a water bottle contains 2 liters of water. Meena drank 1 eighth of water. How much water did Meena drink? So they have given that there is a 2 liter of water, which uh, 2 liter of water in a bottle and Meena drank 1 eighth of the water. So we have to find out here 1 eighth of this 2 liters we have to find out. So again of means multiplication. So 1 by 8 multi multiplied by 2. We can cancel 2 and 8, 2 ones are and 2 fours are. So this is equal to 1 by 4 which is option C. So option C is the correct answer. She drank 1 fourth of the water. Then the next one, fifth question. So in the fifth one they are asking, by what fraction should we multiply 4 by 5 to get 16 by 35? It's like you're finding the equivalent fraction. So we have here 4 by 5. So with what number we should multiply, with what fraction we should multiply to get here 16 by 35. This is the question. Now see, from 4 we should get 16. So obviously multiplying. So with 4, what you should multiply to get 16? So we know 4, 4 is 16, right? So in the numerator we'll get 4. Okay. Now from 5 we should get 35. And in 5, with what with 5 what we should multiply to get 35? It is 7, right? So 5 sevens are 35. So the required fraction here is 4 by 7, which is option A. Then the next question. One third, sorry, 1 by 3 divided by 5 by 3 is equal to. So here I'm covering a one question from the division of fractions. So how to divide two fractions? This question is on that. So when you're dividing a two fraction, so 1 by 3 divided by 5 by 3. So this 
method will remain same whenever you're dividing a two fraction. So the first fraction will be same. That is one by three will remain same. Now instead of division, we're gonna put multiplication sign, and instead of taking five by three, we're gonna take reciprocal of five by three, which is three by five. Reciprocal means you have to just interchange numerator and denominator. So it's very simple. Again, I'm repeating. When you're dividing a two fraction, the first fraction will remain same. Instead of division, we put multiplication and take the reciprocal of second fraction, which is three by five. Now reduce it. If possible, cancel the numbers. Here we can cancel three and three, three ones and three ones are. So we're left with one by five. Multiply one and one in the numerator and one and five in the denominator. So one by five, which is option C. Then the next question. 3 1 by 3 divided by 10 is equal to so we have mixed fraction we are dividing that with 10 and we have to find out the answer so 3 1 by 3 now the previous question was we're dividing a two fractions there now here we have a 10 which is a whole number so how to do it so divided by 10 so we're gonna first convert this into improper so 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so we got 10 by 3 divided by 10 now remember the method is same like how we did for the previous question the same thing you have to do it so the first number will remain same that is 10 by 3 will remain same division will become multiplication take the reciprocal of 10 now 10 is a whole number which can be written as 10 by 1 so when you take the reciprocal it will become 1 by 10 okay so reciprocal of 10 is 1 by 10 so we're going to take the reciprocal of 10 which will be 1 by 10 now do the cancellation we can cancel 10 and 10 so we are left with 1 by 3 that is option B then the next one 5 paise is equal to so we have to convert 5 paise into rupees so we know that 1 rupee is equal to so 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise right now here you are converting paise to rupee so smaller you need to greater unit when you convert you have to divide okay so with what you should divide now since one rupee is equal to 100 paise so we have to divide with 100 so we're going to divide this 5 by 100 so divide 5 by 100 now this you have learned in your lower classes like when you're dividing this with 10 or 5 this is a simple trick instead of dividing it what you do uh, since there are two zeros in the denominator right so the number 5 you have to put decimal uh, from the right side that is after two digit you have to put decimal why two digit because there are two zeros here in the denominator and this method is only applicable if you have a 10 hundred thousand ten thousand one lakh such kind of numbers now only two zeros are there after two digit you have to put decimal or after two places you have to put decimal and you should start from the right side that is from here you have to start okay so we have a 5 now 5 is only one single digit right so we don't have other digits so I'm gonna put 0 here now after two places so that is 5 0 and then decimal point here and then I'm gonna put 0 here so 0 0.05 is the uh, rupee so rupee 0 0.05 which is option B then the next one 150 gram is equal to we have to convert this into kg because all options are in kg so again we're converting gram to kg you're converting a smaller unit to higher unit which means you have to divide here it's like a previous question but the numbers are different here we know that one kg is equal to thousand grams right so when you're converting 150 grams into kg you have to divide it with thousand so 150 divided by thousand like same like a previous one so there are three zeros so you have to put decimal point after three places from the right side so zero five one are three numbers over right so one two three so after one i'm gonna put decimal and then zero so zero point one five zero kg which is nothing but first option so this is same as a 0 0.15 okay then the next one find 
2.4 multiplied by uh, sorry 2.5 multiplied by 4 now here you are multiplying a decimal number with whole number whenever you're multiplying a decimal number with whole number what you do just forget about the decimal just multiply the numbers so 25 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 100 right so just write down 100 here now see I have a decimal after decimal I have only one digit right so here also in the answer after multiplying you have to put decimal after one place from the right side so uh, from here I'm going to put decimal so it will be 10.0 from right so from here you have to start from the extreme end of the number you have to start so after one place you have to put so if you have a two digits there after decimal after two places you have to put it will be like 1.00 then okay that's it so answer is 10 that is option A the 11th question 1.2 multiplied by 10 is equal to now here you're multiplying decimal number with 10 now whenever you're multiplying this any decimal number with 10 100 or 1000 that simple trick you have to move the decimal to the one place to the right that is there's a one digit here in the zero right one zero is there so this decimal will move to the right one place to the right so it will become 12.0 that is option a that is 12 suppose you're multiplying suppose it is not in this question which i'm just telling you 1.2 multiplied by 100 suppose you have there are two zeros here right so this decimal point will move to right two places so this will be like one two there's no number here right two places just so two and i want one more number so i'm going to put zero here and then point zero so when you're multiplying any decimal number with 10 100 or 1000 the decimal point will go to the right side now same thing if you're dividing it with 10 100 or 1000 the decimal point will go to the left side so we have done one question just now that is uh, 0.51 see we have divided 5 with 100 so when you're dividing here decimal place move to the left side 5 we have number there's no decimal here suppose decimal point is here because 5 and 5.0 they both are equal same so this decimal will move to the left side if it's multiplication the decimal move to the right side and how many places it depends upon number of zeros so two zeros are there so two places so five and then zero and then point and then zero so that's it so you have to just remember where the decimal place we have to move decimal point will go to the right or the left depending on multiplication and division then this is the uh, next question this is the last question here so 234.5 divided by 10 so if the previous question was multiplication so i have taken one question to explain you about the division so 234.5 divided by 10 so just now i said this decimal place will move towards where right or left now since we're dividing here the decimal place will go to the left side how many places one places because there's a one zero here in the 10 right so it will become so decimal will come here so two 23.45 that is option a if it was 100 if it was 234.5 divided by 100 the decimal will play, go two places to the left that is going to come here after uh, like before uh, 3 so 2.345 will become if you're dividing this with 100 so that's it i have covered 12 questions uh different topics from this if you practice this type of question so uh, you will definitely will gonna get a good score in the mcq from this chapter so that's it thank you so much for watching